Black Widow warm up. We're going to start off with lying dynamic black burn. So, this is a shoulder mobility exercise. We're going to start with his hands way behind his back and we're going to bring him all the way up. You want to go all the way through that free range of motion. You're going to try to keep your head in as neutral position as you can and you're going to squeeze your glutes so that you can keep your core tight in this position. From there, we're going to go scapular push ups. Scapular push up, we're going to go full push up position. And all he's going to do is just pull his shoulder blades together as tight as possible, keeping his arms locked out and then pushing them all the way apart. All the way together, all the way apart. If any clients have issue with this, just have them do the same movement on their knees. From there, we're going to go to a reverse lunge with rotation. Okay, so he's going to step back and he's going to rotate toward the knee that's up. He stands back up, bat with the other foot, and just rotate and trying to open up that thoracic spine. Try to have good knee position as we're going down. If a client struggles at all, they can just go a half of a lunge, but we want to try to get them nice depth if possible. From there, we're going to go down, back down to a mountain climber crossover. Abs nice and tight, and when he brings his knee up, it's going to go from one knee to the opposite elbow. He's going to keep it nice and slow and under control, so one knee to the opposite elbow, core as tight as possible, trying to breathe throughout this position, but we want it nice and slow and steady so that the core is really activating. From there, we're going to do a wide squat to sumo, so we're going to go ahead and stand up. In this position, he's going to get nice uh, hands overhead extension. He's going to get nice and deep into a squat, put his hands down and push out on the inside of his thighs to really activate the adductors, back in that position, straight back up. Most clients are going to skip the hand position, try to force them to get in that hand position, push the knees out, and back in that wide before they come back up. And the last one we're going to do is plank jacks. So the plank jack, going to keep the abs nice and tight, and all they're really going to do is just like a jumping jack with their feet. Core is to the plank to that. You're just jumping back and forth. This is really tough for most clients, so clients that have issues with it, just have them do a regular plank. Abs nice and tight for 30 seconds.